In our last tutorial, we talked about sliders and panels inside of Serif Web Plus. And what I wanted to do was to make all of these hyperlinks so that when you click on Mini Spa Vermont or Energy Archaeology, they'd open up into a little tutorial or a little video. So how do you do that? In our last tutorial, we talked about creating this particular slider. And the problem with it for me as I was looking at it is it's just really really busy. What I want to do is be able to showcase some of the rebranding and website makeovers that I've done. So I'm going to show you what I've been working on with the website. I decided to really bring home that I do want to have free consult. I want to be able to talk about the makeovers too. So I made this a lot more clean, a lot more easier for my clients to take a look at it and play ball with me. So what I wanted to do is to be able to show these videos of how I did these client makeovers and the rebranding for Tootsie's Mini Spa and Mini Spa Vermont. So I've put all of my rebranding videos up here so that people can see the work that I've done. And yes, it does have AdSense on it. So that each of these tells a story. And I also really firmly believe that people buy people. So I wanted to have my award that I received from the Small Business Development Center in Vermont and me receiving my award. I wanted to be able to showcase that and what I said so that people say, wow, I think she really knows what she's doing. And have some testimonials up here as well. And of course, a call to action, free consult. So there's three very bright green buttons that are telling my customers what exactly it is that I want them to do and what I have to offer, which is a free one-on-one -on -one consultation to talk to them about everything from building their own website to internet marketing to social media management to Google AdWords. So it's all free for a one-on-one -on -one consultation. So that's really what I wanted to drive home. I still have the slider that I had before with build your website, lease to own a website, and buy your website. And I've also added get clients, get numbers, noticed, get business, and get busy. So those are some of the changes that I've made to the website. I think it's a lot easier for people to navigate. So now let's get back to exactly how do I go about building those videos that you can just click on and they don't leave the website. This is known as a light box. This box that opens up it's wonderful because it keeps you on the website but it also keeps you engaged in looking at videos and other materials. So let me show you how that's built, the light box and the video. So when we go back in here and I have my slider open, you can see that there is a hyperlink here. And it used to be that you could just simply click on this, put a link to your YouTube, hit light box and you were done. Unfortunately, it's not working that way. So I needed to go into site structure and create a page just for all of my videos. So let me show you exactly what that looks like. So this is my home page and my mini spa Vermont page. All I did is I created a page. I'm going to go to page properties so you can see. I named it rebranding mini spa Vermont from got clicks that will help me in the search engines mini spa HTML I put that in and then the size of the page I kept at 640 by 380 and I'm going to put HTML code in there so that I can uh, get busy with that so all it is is simply going into insert HTML fragment HTML HTML fragment and you click on it and put your fragment in there. So that's pretty much how it works. So this is a page that's already been done. Let's go ahead and create a brand new page because I need to put energy archaeology up there. So again we're going to go into site structure and the nice part about Serif is that I can click once on a page. Now if you don't see the copy and, and delete bar up here sometimes Web Plus X8 drops that. What I find is if I just click on page properties and open that up and hit cancel, boom, it opens all these up again. So I want to clone this page. So I'm just going to click the clone button and make sure I have the page selected. Go to page properties and I'm going to rename this energy archaeology. And make sure that you label these uh, things that are going to be relevant to a search engine search. The HTML is not as important. Now the appearance, we're going to keep it the same, 640 by 380. 
master pages, I didn't really tie, um, you know, I just did contents. I didn't tie a master page to either of these. I just wanted it simple. I just want a simple light box opening up. And then I hit OK. So then once I have that, I double click and it's going to open this page. I don't want the HTML in there, so I'm just going to delete it. And I'm going to go out to my YouTube video and make sure that I have the right one. Energy Archaeology, find the click graduate, great. I click on Share in here, and then I click Embed. And all I'm going to do is just copy and paste that right into my Serif Web Plus website. The way I do that is click Insert, HTML Fragment, click the box, paste to body, it'll take what I've copied already off of my clipboard, click OK, and then I click and drag it across, like so, and of course hit Save. And now I go back to my slider where I have the Energy Archaeology video and these are known as hotspots. They're little green boxes. Okay. In fact, I'm going to draw one brand new for you so you get how that works. You hit Insert, Hotspot, and then you just sort of click on top of it. And this time I'm going to take you to site page, which is one of the pages we just built. You see this little plus sign. My energy archaeology is right there. And the target window, because I want it to open as a light box, this is important, click on target window, click light box, and the size that you want the page. I know that the dimensions 640 by 380 are what work best for this. And then I can click and drag this hotspot, and you want to make sure that it's the first thing that hits there. Now, in sliders, you do not want to have any of your HTML code falling outside of the slider, otherwise it's not going to work. It has to be inside the slider, and the hotspot will appear. So I'm just going to click Save and Publish. Publish to Web. And I'm going to click both of these pages because they haven't been published as of yet. You want to click your home page, wherever your um, hotspot is, and you also want to click the video page that you've created as well and make sure that both of those publish. And then I just click through, I click on Energy Archaeology, and there it is. So that's a quick and easy way of getting videos up on your website to be able to use them in light boxes so that nobody leaves your website, that they can see the material and see the information that you're teaching and also be able to take a call to action right on your website. They may watch this video and then say, gee, that's Sarah, I think I want to work with her, and they'll pick a date to visit with me for a free consultation. I hope you've enjoyed this video. The next step is putting up PDFs or flyers up onto your website so that people can take a call to action there. If you have a, a seminar or something that you're teaching and you want to put a PDF up, I'll show you how to do that next.